Of all the inflatable toys I have shown off, none of them have generated anywhere near as much curiosity or as many questions as my latex inflatable whale. So, I figured it would make sense for me to do a review video answering some of the most frequently asked questions. To start off, the whale is about 7 feet long, so about a foot more than the archetypical Intex whale. Well, that depends a lot on how much you fill it, but we will get back to that. It is made from latex rubber sheet instead of PVC sheet. Latex should be familiar to most, as it is of course what balloons are made of and what old surgical gloves used to be made of. Now, while a balloon is made from dipping a mold into liquid latex, this whale is made much more like a typical inflatable pool toy. Just like a pool toy, this whale is made from sheets of fabric welded together at seams. The fabric just happens to be rubber instead of vinyl plastic. Latex, just like vinyl, comes in a multitude of sheet thicknesses. Back when ordering this whale, I had little baseline for what latex rubber sheeting felt like at different thicknesses, or any idea how that thickness might affect the feel of an inflated toy. I perused around the manufacturer's website to see if they offered any suggestions. In doing so, I stumbled upon their listing for an inflatable latex doll. The listing pointed out that the default list price was for cheaper, thinner latex, but the listing, for reasons, strongly recommended upgrading to the 1mm thick latex. Snickering to myself about the similarity between an inflatable doll and a pool toy, I figured the thick material would be the way to go for the whale as well. The latex material itself is a significant part of the cost of most latex garments, and thus thick latex is pricey. Choosing the thick material more than doubled the whale's cost, so I was a little worried that the 1mm might be too thick, as my only point of reference were some half millimeter thick latex banner balloons and some thinner round balloons. But I really wanted to make sure this inflatable whale was rideable and not too squishy and floppy. Like higher end vinyl inflatables, the color of the construction is determined by the color of the sheeting. I had originally wanted to order my whale in the same colors as the traditional Intex whale. Unfortunately, the factory was out of the colors I wanted in the thick material. That is why I ended up with this sort of cyborg color scheme for my whale. The back of the whale is made from what the manufacturer calls dark blue, the belly, royal blue, and the eye detail, middle blue. I really wish I could have gone with the traditional black and white orca, but I am still happy with the colors. The final option I had to decide on before ordering was a surface finish. The factory offered a powdered finish, a silicone polish, or chlorination. Given my collection of other inflatables, and knowing silicone oil does not react nicely to vinyl, the silicone polish was out of the question. Besides, I had no interest in having to maintain such a finish. Now, I figured the dry powder option was like what balloons usually come with, to prevent them from sticking to themselves and sticking to each other. I wasn't a big fan of that either, as the powder would typically irritate my skin. Latex, on its own, breaks down in the presence of moisture and stains very easily. The powder wasn't doing anything to prevent that. Having experience with balloons, I know how badly they react to moisture and how easily they stain. So, I ultimately investigated chlorination to see what that was about. It turns out chlorination is a permanent finish that doesn't require reapplication like the powder or polish would. Further, it seals the latex, protecting it from stains and moisture. I was sold, and paid the extra fee to chlorinate my whale. With my whale now on order, I had to wait for it to arrive. Frustratingly, it took over three and a half months to arrive, which was well over their quoted lead time of a month and a half. When it arrived, it came wrapped in plastic, packaged inside a custom box. It was heavy. The first thing I noticed about it was its weight. I hadn't expected that, but it made sense given the thick material. This intrigued me as I sometimes wished my toys had more heft to them. This whale is over seven and a half pounds, while an Intex whale is only two and a half. I was excited. It was time to inflate it for the first time. The whale has a valve very similar to a number two valve you might find on a regular pool toy. In this case, it is made of rubber, doesn't have the flapper pool toy valves usually do, and the stopper isn't permanently attached. So I must take care not to lose it. When I first got the whale, the valve stem could be pushed flush or left sticking out, just like a pool toy valve. A number two size valve does seem a little small for this size inflatable, 
but it is manageable. Inflating it for the first time was interesting because of how ridiculously soft and flexible latex is. It wasn't quite clear how filled was full. This whale would just keep taking air. If I had ever thought a pool toy was soft, this whale is way softer. It would be like comparing cardstock to Egyptian cotton. The best way to describe it is like inflating a balloon only a little, right up to where it starts to stretch. The surface feels very much like one of those chloroprene balloons. Very slippery, and not at all tacky like plain latex can get. My concerns about the material being too thick were assuaged. The thickness seemed fine. Thicker still probably would have been fine too. I could lay atop it and ride it like a regular inflatable whale. Plus, the added heft of the thicker material was a bonus. However, amusingly, in a way only a rubber whale could do, I sink right through it to the floor if I try to sit on it. If I were to buy it again, the only thing I would do different would be having the tail a separate air chamber. As it is, the tail bulges out in a ridiculous manner when the whale is ridden. Overall, I have been very happy with this incredible whale. I have had it for over two years, and it has held up well, despite rough use. I have only had a few minor issues. Upon receiving it from the factory, there were three locations that had failed to be properly chlorinated. There was one defect on the back, one near the valve, and one on the belly. All three locations have a symmetric pattern. I can assume these areas must have been stuck together during the chlorination step, preventing the reaction from happening. These areas were tacky and didn't have the glossy slipperiness the rest of the whale did. Eventually, I ended up chlorinating the whole whale over again, which fixed the tackiness of those spots, but didn't fix the slight discoloration. I only had one other minor issue. Shortly after first getting it, it was not holding air, and had what I suspected was a tiny leak. This made me nervous, as I had no idea how to repair latex, even if I found the suspected leak. After doing some research, and finding the proper primer and rubber cement, I searched for the leak. It ended up that the valve base was not sufficiently bonded to the body of the whale. It was leaking at that interface. After a bit of repair work, the whale is now airtight, but the valve stem ended up getting glued down. The valve stem now stays permanently pressed in. The whale holds air, staying firm for what now seems indefinitely. In conclusion, I have been extremely happy with my purchase. Despite the unideal colors, or the mental stress the leak had caused. The latex whale seems downright indestructible compared to my other inflatable toys, especially given the abuse I have put it through during my two years of ownership. The ludicrously soft and supple material is so stretchy I don't think I could possibly ride it rough enough to bust it. It is also so stretchy I don't really fear accidentally puncturing a hole in it either. It would just stretch around the object. I would highly recommend a latex inflatable to anyone interested in the softest imaginable inflatable. Despite the high cost of latex, it has been worth it to me. I hope my video has piqued your interest. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Consider subscribing, and if you would like to support my channel, you can buy a t-shirt from the link in the description. Thanks for watching.